I got that. Hello, folks. Welcome to gameplay of the 2024 PGA Championship on EA Sports PGA Tour. It is the second major of the year. And of course, this is in May. And this time around, PGA Championship will be playing at Valhalla again. It is their fourth time PGA has hosted. Last time was in 2014. That's when uh, Rory McIlroy won it, beat uh, Phil Mickelson. I'll play at the same hole. Of course, Phil was a group ahead of him, but it was getting dark, and Roy was insisting that he, you know, play ahead there and to beat the darkness. And of course, Phil wasn't too happy about it, but I mean, they try to finish the finish the event there, so. I mean, it was getting pretty dark there, so yeah, I, don't, I, I mean, you can say yeah or nay about this, but it happened, so, and Rory won it, so. Alright, so, Valhalla is set in Louisville, Kentucky, of course, had the Kentucky Derby um, a week ago there, pretty damn close finish there, um, of course, Missy Den won that, and... Of course, uh, Jack Nicholas designed this course there, and that's all the big events there, including the four PGAs. You got two senior PGA and the Ryder Cup in 2008. Yeah, so. All right, we'll play as myself, and I think you may know this. You're wondering why I was, have a pink shirt on? Well, it's this weekend is Mother's Day weekend. So yeah, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there and who brought us into the world. And hope y'all hope y'all have a good Mother's Day. So Alright. Sunday Hill location. Of course this ro event rotates. Uh, wind speed 6 to 9 miles an hour, uh, northeast, I think it's more east than northeast, what it's indicated, I think we will put it at east there. So. Tournament, pretty much everything, uh, first and second cuts will be long, and as we expect out of the major, play in the afternoon, black tees, all that. And of course play as myself. So, go ahead and start the round and hopefully post a good score. I mean, I have to say, I have to say it is a really nice looking course there. You know, I've played around on it. I mean, it's definitely a beautiful looking course. And you know, seem to agree with me here. These holes. I mean, the even though it has trees, it feels like a lynx course. The way it's the way it looks there. I mean, there's a few trees there, but most of the time you'll see a lot of open areas there. So yeah. And by the way, I've um, changed up my um, change up the um, the settings here um the gameplay settings there I actually swing mirror turn that off but you'll see that little highlight there also turn this off as well kind of provide a more challenging uh challenging uh, uh event there around there so that's what i was trying to say there keep the green grids on since well yeah kind of kind of hard to read the greens of the green grids on this game there in particular I can do it one day I feel necessary to and that is pretty good driving though we're on the first cut
The screen uh, grids without the, uh, the beads there. Got a little extra challenge. Uh, let's see. This is downhill. Maybe. Yeah, that might be good. No. Kicks it right there, but it should be okay. That's good. I'll take that. Let's be doing the be doing the my career mode on on this event there. Of course, be playing at Oak Hill. This coming week as well, so a double PGA Championship there with the gameplay round and the hopefully four rounds of the of the event there on my career mode. Ah, and that was. It is a little tricky. A little tricky without the meter there. Man, it is a nice looking course there. Very nice looking course. Yeah, I've seen seen the no YouTuber I seen some YouTubers do without the meters there I thought eh, let's do that I'm probably a challenge there I want to just turn the grids off there and use a overhead uh, what was it like, yeah just use the overhead view of it there to read the greens there i mean it is yeah i don't know about that there i mean i just like to actually read the green there on the ground now i'm up in the air i need to go a little bit to the right a little more on that bunker edge there Hit a little, that's a pretty good shot. If I hit a little harder, I'm going to be closer to the hole. Okay. It is level, but looks can be deceiving. I can see a little bump there. I might push the ball to the left a little bit there, so we'll do that. Shit, main break. Yeah, that was an easy birdie there. That's overrated. it. I get to overread things, but then underread it. Just make sure it goes straight. It goes straight. Now you have to be absolutely positively sure it goes straight. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, it might be a fade. This ball's going to push it there so much. That'll be okay. I should have pushed it a little bit more. Let's 
should have pushed it a little bit more. Oh, that's a lot of fun flood here in Reed. Maybe there. I'm not seeing any judges. Is this up? No, that's pretty much right and level here. Try to overhead it there. I overhead it a little bit, but hopefully. Son of a bitch. We're going seventy two yards here. Let's see. This being dropping could could actually be. I do a I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a go. That's all right, and we'll see if we can get an up and down on this here. Let's put my feet there. Shit. Rough, you, you know, you don't make it to stop there. Uh, hopefully, this will. Oh, like that. Like that. Trees to worry about on this one. Don't seem to be a tough course. Is this? I mean, the greens don't look as tough there. The problem is the the roughs there. Of course, having it set on the long roughs, both on first and second cuts there. It's kind of kind of the same with the uh, Oak Hill there. The greens don't look tough there. I don't know about this one. I'm just gonna push it there. So I don't need to. I don't need to finesse it here probably. I finesse my work here. Lob it a little bit here. Okay, I'm gonna put this here.
And that's kind of what I expected. So this is a par 71 course. It's a that's three par fives on here, so you got some opportunities to score there. Pretty nice to see that string there. It's, it's look pretty awesome there. Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling that one. Ooh. Hmm. This is interesting. I guess that one will do. I don't think we can. I don't think there's any way I can get across from there. Is there? I don't think there is. No oh, hell no. Hopefully this won't be. I should have gone three iron on that one. Yeah, probably have to hack it here. there Shannon, yeah, Sean, I mean, that was rough, and she's spinning a little bit more. Ay, ay, ay. We got par five coming up. Six hundred yards. Get different elevations of the streams there. that bunker there for sure the first cut that ain't bad right on the edge Oh, good lord, this is a risky here. I'm not too sure I want to do this one there, so yeah, I think the line up might be the best option here. Oh, 
is going to be a bitch here. So we do a little spin action here. There we go. Better go in. Bogey one home, birdie the next. I hiss the left there. I mean, it makes no sense. It's trying it out, folks. here and out the stairs here some of a bitch Finesse is kind of, I don't get finesse, I mean, he's kind of hoping it will kind of turn towards the hole there, but it didn't. Point too much there, but we'll see about that. Putting meter there, I me mean, doing this about putting meter, it's a little tricky. I mean, doing it on the 
2K23, man. It's better there. I mean, of course, he, of course, he has the, the turn on the, has the vibrating, has the let the controller vibrate when you about to over swing it there. This one, you don't have that luxury of the. Having that there, you just have to like keep your eye on the putter there. Yeah, I'm trim that one, 371 yards. It's got how far down that is. Oh, that's quite a bit ways down. Maybe eight. Let's go eight. Would help you if you. That could be. That actually is pretty good. Take that. I mean, it's shorter than green, but still. Already both those par fives there. I got them in the last one at the last hole, 18th. All right, and it's blowing probably to I'll go six, or maybe do. Let's do five and draw it. That's our eyes better if it's short than of course they had passed it that's gonna roll downhill. Wait look. I got problems with those par threes, especially on those tough those major courses there. Hit it a little bit more, but that's okay. And this one's downhill. Oh, 
this could be good. Nah. I was kind of hoping that would. Oh, good lord. Oh man, that's on the edge. Play a little defense on this one. It's so worrying is that slope there. I was worried about that. I was over hitting us on a roll. Almost past 10 feet there. Now this hole here. It's pretty tempting there. You think you want to go for it, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think you need to lay up here. Definitely need a lay up here. Yeah, this whole location as well. Look at this. Man, it's on the edge as well. Okay. here and this is mm, scary shot here that could be good there we go that's a great shot that's probably one of the best shots I took have there all right yeah, no one over hit this there. Yeah, it's definitely on the edge. And it's a little uphill. So. There we go. As long as it goes in the hole, you don't have to worry about it falling off there. Turn 54 yard par 3. This will be fun here. With the wind. Oh. Five, Ditch here. Our this looks like it might be one foot up here. It might be one or two feet up. Suit that way. 
I'm going to bump it down a little bit here. Oh, perfect. No way. Oh, what a putt. What a putt. I got trouble with those long uphill putts there. Especially with the putting meter turned off. Might go. I think three wood might do it. This will reach it, even though it's in the rough. I thought the ball's gonna push. No, when you, now you blow, you're feeling the ball ought to be going to the right there, but it doesn't do that. I mean, it's good, but still, it's kind of anticipated to go towards the right there. Not too much break here. I don't need to really read this here. I don't feel like it's going to break that much. Probably there, maybe. It's about three cups outside to the left there. How about that? Our twenty six yard par four here. I have to. Get a whack here. Should be good. Yeah. That's 200 yards to go. I'm good here, folks. There we go. Good shot there. That was a good shot. Not really getting it close to the hole, but making the most of it with my putting there. Played too much for it. I don't know why I played too much there. Oh, 
was a funky looking hole there. Got a lot of bumps and curves and all that stuff. Power draw this on this one here. Strays an arrow. Yeah, one at least get one good shot here. Yeah, that's uphill. Oh, this could be good here, folks. There we go. Way too much. I thought that would be pretty good, but going 15 feet past the hole. Once you got this par five, the hopefully you know, on a high note here. That's a pretty decent round there. It's, it's a pretty good round. I mean, 300. Of course, that's a, a major course there. I might need to aim this more here. No, oh, that'll be fine. Yeah, this hole here. Ooh, kind of in the twin clubs here, aren't we? Okay. Let's do this. Now we'll draw it. Okay, so we get up down on this one. Okay, what can we do? Can we spin it? No, we can't spin it. We cannot spin it. We'll chip it. Yet. I shouldn't 
bob it a little bit and it's going to reach it. But we made a birdie anyway. Nothing to worry about. Even though we screw up on the chip, we still make a birdie. Alright, uh, 67 there. Got those bogeys on the front nine there, but make it up on the back nine with four birdies and no bogeys on that one. So, yeah. Pretty decent, pretty good round. I have to say myself, especially, of course, this is Valhalla. I mean, the course don't look too tough, but it is tough. Of course, with the settings there, pretty fun. So, I don't know what was the score on the 2014 PGA Championship. Um, uh, let's see, what was the score? Look at it up right fast. 16 under was the final score after four rounds. Yes, yeah, it, it, yeah, like I said, it, yeah, it's definitely an easy course there. You just gotta make sure you hit your shots well there to score there. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely, definitely an easy course there. So, but it could make it tougher. Uh, might, I don't know, might renovate I don't know what it is, but it might have renovated it. All I know, so. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. And if you want to check out my career mode, you can go do so. Start from the Players Championship to PGA there. Of course, I'm doing the big events there, like the Players and the Majors and the last three events of the FedEx Cup there. And be something worth watching when you pass time. And also, if you're not interested in golf, I am doing Cyberpunk 2077 and also I'm just started on the uh, Fallout 1 there. Of course kind of kind of strike while the iron's, the iron's hot with the TV show being very popular there and as it should be. Of course I mean it's a really good show there if you haven't watched it there. I mean it's probably the best video game adaptation of of any kind there uh to date there so yeah worth watching if you're interested in watching uh, if you have prime video subscribe the prime video there you know, go ahead and watch that there and, and also watch my uh gameplay video of fallout one as well so anyway thanks again for watching hope you all enjoyed it make sure you like subscribe to see more of my videos and I will see you next time with the U.S. Champion, uh, U.S. Open Championship, and other videos, and hopefully some live streams in the near future. So long, everybody. I got that